Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to my build and buy overview. So, um, for the vampire game pack, you know, I'm too excited. I'm forgetting to say things. <laughs> and again, I just want to thank EA for giving me early access. It really means a lot to me. And, um, I talked about that more in my creative sim overview, but I want to make sure I say that in all my videos that I do for today. So yeah, um, Okay, this is Forgotten Hollow, and the reason I want to show you guys this first because we are going, I'm gonna go onto an empty lot here and place down the items. So I thought, why not just kind of show you guys this? You know, I'm gonna do a gameplay video, but yeah, um, we probably won't see the icon in that video. So this is the icon, it looks pretty cool. Um, and the world. Okay, let's go see it first. Haven't seen it yet. <laughs> the world is really small. I already knew this because, um, I already knew it was only five lots. Now, I know a lot of people are disappointed about this. I, I'm not even saying this in like, like I'm being completely 100% honest opinion here. I thought this before I even got early access or anything. So I just want to clarify that. I'm honestly happy that we get a vampire town. So to me, this is more like a small town. I wouldn't necessarily call it a world in my opinion. I think this is more of a small town, but we haven't like, you know, for other game packs, we don't even get towns or anything. You know what I mean? So I am glad that we at least get this that is like, you know, even if your vampires don't live here, they can come here and just kind of like feel like comfortable and like do their vampire thing, you know, and has that vampire feel like I'm really excited about this area here. So that's why I'm not complaining about it because that's just like my look on it. And I'm just very happy that vampires get a world because when does that happen? Like, this is only for vampires. Like, you know, obviously, if this was, like, all the supernaturals, this would be bigger, you know? But this is just for vampires, so, like, I'm not complaining. I, personally, am really hyped to see what this world looks like. But anyways, we are gonna head over to this empty lot here. So, just to kind of give you guys an idea, we, you know, these are the lots we get. I believe they, this is a townhome, um, this is another house. So, I believe they're all houses. So, this is, like, specifically for your vampires to live, and they kind of have, like, their own area where they can just live so that's another reason why it's probably small i guess and then this is like the area where you know you can meet other vampires and stuff like that so let's actually get into build and buy so we're gonna go ahead and just move them into this lot um i'm kind of excited to see even what it looks like when you're actually on the lot because i feel like this world looks so different compared to the other ones um, i'm just gonna let's not call it a world i'm gonna call it a town because that's what it seems like to me um that's just what I feel better calling it. <laughs> so we're gonna call it that. All right, so, okay, things are happening. Um, oh, also, um, the family's a little bit different than they were in my cast overview. I just wanted to like clarify that. I pretty much put them in the same clothing. I kind of give this little toddler a little makeover. I know he can't really do anything for vampires, but you know, I just wanted the whole, I wanted to see what a whole vampire family looked like. So that's why I did this. This custom con this is custom content, by the way. This top and these glasses. Um, they're on my Tumblr. But anyways, let's like actually focus. <laughs> so um, we're going to get into build and buy, but I'm going to take a look. But yeah, I had to like redo them, you know. So they're not the exact same sims, but I gave them the same clothes. So if they look different, that's why. So this is what the middle area looks like. So this is cute. You see what I mean? Like, okay, this, it's like a street, okay? And that's... I'm saying that in a good way. Like, I know they called it a world, but I don't really care what they called it. I'm just happy we have something for vampires, you know? And it it's really pretty, guys. Okay, come on. Like, what if we didn't even get a world at all? You know what I mean? It's like, usually we don't for game packs. So, ooh, and there's like, okay, the little details. See, there's a gravestone over here. Oh my gosh. See, I'm just, I'm grateful we got this because... I didn't expect it. You know, when they announced vampires, I, and then I saw, like, that it said, like, travel to Forgotten Hall. The first thing I thought was what it was going to be a subworld. And I would prefer to get somewhere where your sims can actually live. So then when I found it was residential, that's when I was happy. And yeah, it's small, but it's somewhere for your vampires. They have their own space, you know? So that's what I'm glad about. So this is what the townhome looks like. And yeah, I'm like getting distracted, but <laughs> let's actually get into build and buy. But I'm just kind of showing you guys, this is what you're going to be surrounded with. And then over here, oh my God. Okay, let's, let, we'll look at that more in the gameplay video. Let's get into build and buy. Is this a bat? No, it's not. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and go in here. I don't know why. Is she uncomfortable? I'm going to have to do some cheats to get her mood up. All right, so first things first, let's actually see if we get any pre-built rooms, maybe. 
Okay, we do. Wow, more than I thought. Okay, I'm surprised. Um, I'm gonna actually put this on the brightest one. Ooh, the lighting looks different in this place. I like that. Um, all right, so uh, we get this here. This is a bathroom. Ooh, antique lavatory. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and buy it. Um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and just do mother load like twice so that we don't have to worry about money. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and place all the rooms and then kind of take a look. Ooh. Athens Chambers. I think that's how it should be pronounced. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and place this one. I don't want to get the super dark ones just because I want to like really show you guys all the details just for uh, the overview. So um, here is the bedroom. Ooh, ooh, An antiquated bed chamber. I love the names. <laughs> all right. Um, I think for this one we're gonna get the red because everyone is like in red in this family. I don't know. I just uh, I just had to put them in all red and black because. You know, stereotypical vampires. That's what I did. <laughs> um, ooh, this is... It has the thing. The thing. You know what they're called? You know the thing. <laughs> um, we're gonna get this one again. Oh my gosh, we get like... I'm... Wow. Okay. Like, you can make a whole house with this! I'm happy! <laughs> Alright, and then we have this one here. Ooh. Hall of Devouring. That's fancy. Okay, so I think again, I'm just going to stick with the whole theme I'm doing right here. <laughs> and then, um, okay, we just place that. <laughs> Ooh, a mortal resting. Oh, <gasps> yes. Why wasn't I expecting this? I wasn't. It's like a little mini graveyard thing. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, so those are the pre-made rooms. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. And obviously we're going to see these things when I look at the build and buy. So we don't go into too much detail. But you guys probably saw these chairs in the trailer. I really love how they're like, they, they like, like they're closed in. I don't know. I would like a chair like this. <laughs> and then we have these pictures. Ooh, oh my gosh, I can't wait to decorate houses. Because that's like my favorite thing to do. If you guys don't know, I'm a big decorator. That's what I enjoy most. Ooh, this vampire, blah, blah, blah. This vampire was in the trailer. So is she. <gasps> Ooh, do they live here? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see for the gameplay video. Oh, is this interactive? Okay, wait. What is this? Is it not? Okay, I think it's decoration. But... Um, oh, this is the organ. That's the word. <laughs> um, okay, this is not interactive, but it looks cool. I kind of wish that you could, like, do things on that. That would be so cool. Even if they could stand there and read it and, like, have a skill to learn, that would have been cool. Anyways, um, this room over here is one of the bedrooms, and it looks very vampire-y. Ooh, I like this hanging right here. The new doors. I'm dying. Like, We've never, we don't have stuff like this, guys. This is, oh, okay, moving on to the next room. Uh, okay, so this is like, you know, the coffins here. I love this. It looks so funny. Um, so we're doing this like in live mode, but you know, then it just looks better. We have this mirror. This looks so cool. You can make some really cool thing. Look at the spider webs. Okay, we can view them. <laughs> and then you can hibernate sleep. Ooh, this is cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the bathroom had that very vampire feel as well. I've never seen a, you know, a bathroom built like this in The Sims because, you know, we haven't had these type of objects. So this will be different. And then over here is what I was just so excited about. Look at the gate. <gasps> oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. The Okay. I'm going to say, like, one thing about this pack that I'm noticing is the amount of detail. Like, a lot of times they put a lot of detail, but, like, this is, like, intense detail. Like, wow. I feel like I keep repeating myself. Like, oh my god, and I'm saying the same things over and over, but I can't help it. Um, I believe this is from the Snow Mod doing this, I think. Um, and then we also have, of course, the gravestones. Um, and then the statue here. It's so pretty. And then look at this dining room table. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I like that. That's some, like, you know, like, that's good for storytelling to me. <laughs> um, ooh, the curtains. I'm actually, like, living for the pictures. I quite enjoy them. Like, I'll hang those all over my Sims vampire houses. That'll be a fun time. <laughs> um, and then we have this room over here with, oh, the fireplace. Oh, my gosh. I loved this in the trailer. 
Like, these little things, I don't know, I love little, like, um, clutter objects like that. I just, like, add to the room. Um, I believe this, I don't know if this is new, I think it, unless it's a new one, but it looks like the one that just comes with the base game, but it fits well in this room. Um, and then look at this with the candles inside, and then, yeah, this fireplace, new favorite. Oh my god, they keep getting, they keep making better fireplaces all the time, and then, you know, you could come over here and drink and kind of like relax at the fire. So there is the pre-made rooms. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into build by now. And um, I'm just going to, what am I doing? No, no, no. That's not what I want to do. What am I doing? Get, get this out of here. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and just delete these rooms. That's what I was trying to do. Um, and then we're going to look at the objects separately. So obviously we just saw a lot of them, but let's kind of like actually look at them in depth. So we are going to go ahead and just go to here and get everything. So, okay, it's already on show all. And then some of the things may not have been in those rooms. So, I mean, there may be some more to see. Who knows? Wow. Okay. You guys, we get a lot. What? Can I just say that? We actually get a lot. So I'm just going to kind of just go down and just plop everything. So sometimes I do this beforehand, sometimes I do it on camera, but I think for a game pack, I can definitely do it on camera. Um, so, ooh, okay, uh, let, let's like stop placing things and look. <laughs> um, so we got this bed here, which, ooh, okay. If this could come down, that would be the coolest thing ever. But the fact that it's here, the detail, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> look at this bed, like the headboard. I'll use this all the time. I mean, it's very vampire looking, but at the same time, I'll use it, like, even in teen rooms, like, oh, I, I just like this. Uh, and then, do they come in, like, uh, yeah, they come in a lot, ooh, see, you, see, I was gonna say I would give it to my, like, darker sims, but then there's this. So this is, like, kind of more princessy, and you could totally give this to, like, a girly girl, or even just, or this one could just be for, like, anyone, and, like, well, okay, yeah, the red looks great. Um, this is the coffin, right? Yeah. So these are the coffins and we have like a more cheaper one, which, um, I feel like you should like make your Sims a basement and then like put this type of coffin down there. <laughs> It'd be all creepy. And then we have this one here. Oh, I like that color there. I'm so excited for the coffins to be honest. Um, and then we have these three chairs this is the one we already saw and you can, you know, have the super bright colors. You don't have to have your vampire's houses look dark if you don't want to. You can have it be all pink everywhere. That would look super pretty, wouldn't it? Um, ooh, now I want to do that. Build, like, a super, like, a dark vampire house and then build, like, a bright one. <laughs> All right, and then we get this here. Okay, I think this is my favorite chair. Let's put it in the pink. I really like that a lot. Um, let's do this one in the purple. Okay, and then we get some couches. So we get these three couches here. Yeah, let's kind of, like, go in categories of, like, different, like, things. You know what I mean? So <laughs> we get three couches, which, again, they just... They nailed it with the theme. Like, I don't know. I, I just, ah, I mean, it screams vampires. Like, obviously that's like the focus, but I mean, I didn't see all of these things. Like I, I obviously their trailer goes quickly. So I'm not like taking in like how amazing everything looks in the trailer. Cause it's only like one minute long. Oh my gosh. And like we get three cow. Okay. This is like a bench, but still, and then we get three chairs. We get a bed. Another. I love when we get beds. <laughs> like city living when we got beds. That was a happy time. And now we got another one. So that's another happy time. So here is the counters. Yes, they look really good. Okay, let's get a wall. We need more counters too. Let me just say that. Um, we really, really do. So whenever I get a new counter, that's definitely a plus. Okay. So you know because I. Now we have stuff that I already used, so it's just down here. So we're still starting from the right place, but I just need to place this. So I'll kind of place it too. Um, so yeah, we would have been starting from here, but now it shows it as the first one since I clicked on these. So these, um, you could use it for any house. This is definitely very, like, what's the word? I don't even know, but you can just use this for so many different houses. It, it's not like specific to anything, I don't feel. And it just comes in three different recolors. So, um, yeah. And then we get, ooh, fancy coffin. Okay, this is my favorite. <laughs> Whoa. Um, look at it. It's so nice. <laughs> that reaction was so awkward. It's so nice. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, there is the, I believe it's the last coffin now going into tables. So we get this one here. Really pretty. Okay. So they're both the same, but one's bigger than the other. And I like this. It's so elegant looking. This could be like a vampire -y or like super elegant and like princess castle type. How many things in this could you also use for a castle? So many of them. Okay. We got shelves here. Those are nice. Then we have, this is from the bathroom. So we get, okay, let's go on the other side. <laughs> we get this toilet here. Can we like not? <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so this toilet is very interesting. And it's like, you know these toilets? Okay, I love these. Where you like pull the thing, olden days. I love it. And then we get another like, you know, shower with bath. Yay. <laughs> I get happy when we get more of those. Um, and of course it's like vampire themed. Okay. Here is the, we're moving to the back of the lot. Here is the, um, uh, bar that we saw. So there is that. I believe like a lot of the things are around the same color scheme. So I'm not going to show off every single thing with the different colors. Um, Ooh, yay. I am honestly really excited about this. This is a whole new skill guys. If you didn't know, and it looks really pretty. So there's that. Um, I really, really like it the way that one looks with the gold and the white against each other. Um, and then we have, what is this? Oh, is this a thing on the wall? Can I not place it down though? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. So we get different ones. This one looks like a heart. <laughs> That's definitely good for storytelling. I feel okay. What's this one? Oh, multiple holes. Cool. See, I wasn't expecting this either. And then we get cracks in the wall. Wow. You can really have like detailed houses with like so much story behind it. Um, or if you just want to make like an old vampire house, this would be great. There's so much. Again, wasn't expecting all this. Okay, we need a longer wall. <laughs> all right, so again, it's gonna only show the things we haven't clicked yet. There is so many wall details. Holy cow. <laughs> this goes on for, wait, what is, a water stain. Wow. Okay. I'm like genuinely surprised at all this wall stuff. We need a longer wall. Okay, wait, we have space over here. <laughs> so, oh, what does this do actually? This is like, oh, a hanging ceiling. So, okay. So you guys can see it here and basically this will hang from your ceiling, which is pretty cool. And then we have these cobwebs here, which I'm going to quickly place. Uh, I think we got wallpaper. Okay. Here's one of the new wallpapers. So let's show you guys that quickly. And then that one and, oh, we get more. <laughs> We're like all over the place, but it's okay. Um, I just want to get, I, I don't want to like miss the wallpapers. I've done that before. Um, so let's make sure I, I show these. We also get some brick, which is nice. So there's the wallpapers. Oh, I think I didn't click on this one. We'll just stick that there. <laughs> so I like, I personally like these the best, like with the bats. And then obviously there is different colors. You can have pink, pink. Oh my God. It's like a plum bob. Is it, is it really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and then yeah, different colors for these kind of like the color schemes to match everything. All right. So now, um, now you guys can like see the spider web a little bit more. It kind of, Ooh, wait. It's like coming off the walls. You can like put it in the corner. I like that. Um, and then we got this one here and then this one, I guess is like for the floor cause I can't get it up. Um, then we get this right here, which we saw in one of the rooms and you can place like things on top of the spider webs, which is so cool. Um, cause like, you know, spider webs will like be on things in your house. <laughs> um, Ooh, I like that one. Okay. Those are cool. Um, then we get these pictures right here, which we also saw. So let's go ahead and see. Um, okay. So I think, oh no, it does change. Ooh, they're from the trailer as well. Aw, I love it. Okay. Um, and then we got these pictures that we saw in the room too. And then we get this right here, which we also saw. Um, there's certain objects I'm like specifically remembering. And then this thing, which is so cool. Uh, we need, a, we need a longer wall once again. Just got to keep adding to the wall. This always happens to me. I, I always make the wall so short. Like, okay, let's just, you know, make it all the way across. All right. So, um, let's go back and it's probably at the bottom. So there we go. I think this thing is so cool. What's it called? Hanging werewolf wall jumper. Werewolf hint. Anyone? I, everything they do like this, I think is a hint. 
I don't know if it is. Maybe I just, you know, like, I think this is a hint for fairies. Why is it in here? You know what I mean? Like, in the Supernatural or Vampire pack, which is, like, Supernatural, of course it's in this pack. You know what I mean? Like, that's such a hint, guys. Come on. Why would they put it in this back pack specifically? Why? Why, like... I don't see any other reason unless it's just cuz like you know cuz it like goes with the whole vampire thing but like I, I I think it means fairies okay look at the name uh, kneeling fairy gargoyle gargoyle <laughs> and then this was whatever werewolf thing um so yeah I seriously think they're coming to you and it's gonna be amazing so yeah <laughs> uh, ooh giant picture okay I like that then we get this mirror right here. Um, I'll just kind of place it right here. It's really pretty. I really enjoy that. Um, this looks very princess-like to me, too. I know it's like vampire themed, but it just it reminds me of princesses. Okay, then we get this, which I can't place right now. I I might be able to if I put the walls higher. Oh, let's actually... Okay, well, I'm just going to put the walls on the highest one. Okay, there we go. That looks really weird now. We have like these such tall walls, but yeah, these are pretty. I like these that hang down. Okay, these I loved in the room. I just really like those. And then we get these right here, which you can like put things on, of course, like this right here. I love, <laughs> like, yes, please. It's so cool. Like you can like decorate, like, I just said like so many times, but you can decorate the coolest houses or build the coolest houses, whatever you're doing, like, ah, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> um, and then we get another one and another one. So three, that's actually a lot. I'm happy with that. And then this standing statue that we did look at in one of the rooms. And then we'll go ahead and put this up here. This thing is so cute to me in a weird way. Don't you think? I think. <laughs> Let's make him white. I love him. <laughs> and it's a llama, like, hello. Um, he looks derpy. All right, so didn't we already place that? I guess this is like another one. Okay, I'm not going to place that one just because it looks similar. And then you have another fairy, but it's like on the statue already. So there's that. And then this one is on the statue already as well. I'm not going to place that. And then we have the headstones. So I'll place these in the front here. So um, we get a whole bunch of different ones. A whole bunch. Which, guys, you guys can make cemeteries now if you want. Like, even just for decoration purposes, um, that would be super fun. Like, it would just look cooler with all these different kinds of headstones, I think. Anyways, what is this? Uh, custom Victorian rug end. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. You can kind of make your own rug. And then we get this rug, which, okay, I like this one the most out of those two. This is pretty. Ooh. Oh, Yes. <laughs> I will use that. Ooh. All right. So there's that. And then the fireplace that we saw, I don't know. I think I could place this over here. Such a pretty fireplace. Again, I feel like you could use this with a lot of different houses. You know, see, as soon as the color changes, it's like, oh, princess. And then it's like, oh, vampire, you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then we get these right here for the bathroom. That's always nice to have new little hand towels. And then we got all these things for the walls, which I love these. I'm really into landscaping now. Um, I've talked about that in builds before. Um, I still like to decorate more. Like I like houses that are done on the outside and like all the wallpapers done. And then I decorate because I just really enjoy decorating. But I, when I'm building a house, I do really like landscaping so much more than I used to. This looks awful the way I'm placing it, but all the objects are really cool. Um, but yeah, I really, so yeah, that's all of them. They look super duper cool and but yeah, I enjoy landscaping more. So this will be fun for me. So yeah, you can change the colors and, ooh. oh, you can make these red as well. Okay. So there's that. And then, um, moving on. So we have, I'm going to place this up here. We saw this, which again, I was saying I like that. <laughs> Uh, and then this thing right here, which I feel like definitely, like, is perfect for vampire bedrooms for some reason. It just is. <laughs> so what is it called? Oh, modern iron radiator. Okay. And then we get this, which is the antique book stand. So this is for decoration. It'd be super cool if your, you know, your sims could like read about vampire stuff in there. That would be awesome. But I do love decorating objects. So at least it's there to decorate. 
And then we get this. That's pretty. There's a lot of stuff here, guys. So I don't want to spend like three years on each thing. Then we get this, which you could put, honestly, you could put this anywhere. But like, this is like, there's evil stuff in here, guys. You got to know there's evil stuff in here. Like the vampires are hiding things. Like, look at all that. What is it? What is it? <laughs> all right. What is it called? Uh, Neoclassic floor cabinet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, and then we have, oh, wait, what? <gasps> I was not expecting this. We have a new bassinet, you guys. What? Excuse me. Did you know that this was coming? Did they show this anywhere? Or is this a complete surprise? There's a bat. What? We've always had the same bassinet. I didn't expect this. Like, I know they're, they're, you know, vampire babies. You would want them to have another kind of bassinet, but I didn't think they were going to give us one. I love it. Look how cool it looks. Okay. And then, oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, we got to like go over here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, let's go ahead and put this with that. So we get a new little bear and it's, oh, <laughs> look, it's Dracula as a bear, basically. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I love it. And it has the teeth. Yeah, I know, I obsess over the kid things, I can't help it. Um, then we get these candles right here. Oh, also like the recolors for this, um, we get those. So I think this one's my favorite, the one that we just get right away. Okay, so. Um, I'll go ahead and like put these up here. So we get new lamps, which are super pretty. Then we get, oh, this is the thing I liked. So I would place that like in any house too. Um, I like how the candles are in there. Um, then we get this floor lamp, which looks super like antique. <laughs> um, and then we get, what is this? Oh, this is the chandelier. So you guys can see it there, but I'm not gonna, I don't have a room, so I'm just gonna not place that. Then we have another one here. And then we have, uh, ooh, is this more candles? Yeah, more candles. Yay. Oh, I love things like that. Um, and then um, we got, what is this? Is this a, oh, it's the clocks. Okay. <laughs> I like those. Um, I don't use them enough, but in vampire houses, I would want to like fill it with these type of clocks. Then we get this dresser right here, which is actually really pretty looking. Everything goes really, really... Okay, that was the last thing, actually, because this is the stuff we already placed. So everything goes really, really well together, I think. So I am definitely impressed with a lot of this. I think we get a lot. This is a game pack, guys. Um, it's like in between a stuff pack and an expansion. So this is definitely more than a stuff pack. Um, and we... Okay, first of all, <laughs> sometimes like stuff packs don't come with towns, and usually game packs don't either. So this one did come with one. So yeah, like if, if I think this is a lot of stuff, but if there's a couple items less than what we got before in a game pack or something, I don't really know. But there seemed like a lot to me, like this is a lot. But if it seems like a couple items less or something, honestly, it's because we get this. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy with this. I don't have, I, I, there's nothing to complain about with the build by. All I had to say about for like, for Create a Sim, all I had to say was I wish the little boys got, um, like, a top and bottom, like how the little girls got this dress. But that was the only thing. Um, otherwise, I think they did a really good job with the whole vampire look of everything. And I think we get a really good amount. Um, yeah, so I think this is a good amount of stuff. You can definitely build, like, an awesome vampire house with this. And, yeah, I'll go ahead and, like, turn the grid off and kind of, you know... I feel like you guys can see things better like this. I don't know. Just me. <laughs> what is it? <gasps> oh my god, that's why! Because they're outside and it's daylight. Oh no! Okay, well, we're not going to focus on that now. We'll do that for the gameplay. But I hope you guys enjoy the build and buy overview. And um, yeah, like I said, I do have a creative sim overview if you want to check that out if you haven't. And yeah, look forward to a gameplay video. It might actually already be up when you're watching this so you guys can go ahead and watch that if you would like to that's the part i'm most excited about honestly that's what i care about most you know like obviously i'm excited to decorate to decorate vampire houses 
um, and things like that and see what other people build because I always get excited to see that. Like, I always like to go on the gallery after new things come out and see what people build and stuff like that because, I don't know, I really, I just, I love looking at other houses and vampire houses, guys, people are going to build so many of them. They're going to look so awesome and I can't wait to see. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this build and buy overview and like I said, you guys can go ahead and check out my gameplay overview video and, or that's just like, not really an overview, but you know, the gameplay video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, thank you so much to EA. And yeah, I love you guys all so, so much. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. Comment down below what you think of the build and buy. What's your favorite item? What's like a couple of your favorite things you've seen here? Honestly, like the, these two baby and kid items are two of my favorites. And then this bed over here. I love so many of the stuff, but I don't know. I just love the bed. And I love these, the headstones. Yeah, I can't make up my mind, but Oh, and this. This is so cool. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go and yeah, I love you guys all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!